Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare our table and Hira. The first thing I'm going to compare are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I'm going to compare what I like and don't like about main features and then I'm going to talk about the pricing. So let's start. Both of these tools are great to use for project management. I'm not paid by Hira or Airtable to say that Airtable is much better comparing to Hira. No, 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 no. Both of these tools are, have some advantages and advantage and disadvantages. So first, Yura. Yura is a wonderful tool for Scrum, for sprints and milestones. And Yura got amazing reporting and plenty of integrations in corporate world, also in startups, in which you're gonna connect the like UX, UI designers, also uh, developers, Sprints are goddamn awesome. So this is the huge advantage comparing to Airtable, in my opinion. You can see it right here, you got a backlog here. Then you got also the Kanban board here that you can use. Then you got like reports here and also roadmap and create effective milestones. So this is in this way, it's perfect. Then you can like simply create from text, task, epic, bug uh, that needs to be solved and issue. So like URI is good. But also, uh, at the beginning, it's hard to understand and get a hold on how to use it. But it's the same with Airtable. Airtable is like this. So in Airtable, you got a workspace and then you get a project in those workspaces. And in workspace, when you're gonna click on a project, then you can simply create a table right here. And in those tables, you can have tasks and what you want to accomplish. So you got like clients or our work, and like design projects. And when I'm going to click on a task, I'm going to have a tasks list here. You can simply switch between grid, form, calendar, gallery, Kanban, and again, like grid, like you have option to choose a creative view here if you want to add it. Also in this way, it, the structure is good, but also in, it will take time to understand it, how to use our table. Uh, so when I go to L task here and I can simply Click on a task, it's fast, it's effective. You can simply create a subtasks here. Then you're gonna see like the clients and you can simply click plus here and you're gonna see, wait a second, you won't be able to see it. I'll just move my camera. Uh, you can see it here, the single select, number, percentage, duration, or you can simply change it to, again, plus here and add formulas and a roll up. Just really play around it as much as you want. In this way, Airtable is good. In this way, it's much more effective comparing to Yura. And in my eyes, it's complex, but it's much simpler comparing to Yura. So yeah, what you what Airtable has also is a task scheduler, shared team calendars, team dashboards, time tracking, resource management, file sharing, and external billing and invoicing. So this is what Airtable has. Now about the pricing, when I want to show you is both of these tools offer free <clears throat> plan here. So uh, what I recommend on Airtable is going with the pro version because the normal plus version doesn't have even apps and it can be limiting. So I would recommend definitely go with the pro version in your software you get for 10 users for free. Then you're going to see the standard version here. And that's pretty much it. So both of these tools are really great to summarize the whole video. I would go definitely uh, for Yura if I want to use sprints, but that's me. Sprints and milestones and huge, like really good reporting. For Airtable, I would go with the project management, but I would definitely check also um, programs like Monday.com, ClickUp or Asana, if you can find it more useful comparing to Airtable. So thank you very much everybody and have a great day and goodbye.